up guys, Johnny May here from Piano with Johnny and what you just heard me playing was a slow blues left hand pattern with a really cool little melody. This is one of the most important techniques. If you want to play blues piano, you got to be able to play slow blues and the stylization of a slow blues comes from the left hand. So this is actually a workshop lesson that I recently recorded for my students at pianowithjohnny.com where I taught them eight of my favorite left hand blues patterns. In today's video, I put together this special lesson for you guys where you're gonna learn one of these eight patterns. But before I teach you the lesson, I wanna show you what all of these eight patterns sound like so you can get a little sense for what's inside the lesson. So the first pattern that my students learn in this workshop is the shuffle pattern. Let me go, let me go ahead and play this for you. shuffle pattern, a great way, a really easy way of playing a slow blues. This is called the broken tenths pattern. Okay, another one of my favorite patterns. Uh, we do a walk-up pattern. Okay, super fun pattern. We do an easy stride pattern. Okay, we do a five one stride pattern. Okay, a seven one stride pattern. A one seven stride pattern. That's six patterns right there. We do a broken tenths stride pattern. Okay, and then the last pattern, this is pattern number eight. I teach what's called a big and bold pattern. This is like, if you wanna go really big on a slow blues, this is what I would play. Really, really big sound. So there are eight of these patterns uh, in this lesson for you guys. You're gonna learn two of them. So if you guys wanna check out the full length course where you learn all eight of these patterns, you can get that at pianowithjohnny.com in our membership. So let's go ahead and start the lesson. You guys ready for this? Broken tense. This is one of my favorite approaches. Let me play this approach here for you. Broken tense. You guys get the idea here? This is one of my favorite sounds, my favorite sounds. This is a go-to sound. If you wanna play slow blues, you know, I'm giving you eight approaches. Do you think I play all eight all the time? No, I definitely have my go-to approaches. This is one of them. If you're gonna just pick one to learn, seriously, learn this one. This is like the, one of the coolest ones and it's not that hard to play. The way the broken tense work, and you know, I probably should have called these broken syncopated tense broken syncopated tense. But what I'm doing, guys, is I'm taking the chord, first of all, <coughs> I'm taking the F chord, and I'm getting a, a nice big spread on this. This is a 10th interval, F to E flat and A. Okay, this is the seventh, this is the third of the chord, okay? So that's kind of the first thing. And by the way, you don't have to hit the whole chord together. You're gonna be separating them like this, but I want you to see the notes, F, E flat, A. That's the first chord. The second chord is a B flat. This is a closed position chord, meaning it's contained within an octave, right? That's an octave, that's a closed chord. So this is your B flat chord. And then the C chord is gonna be like this, okay? C, E, B flat. So the chords here now are not full chords. We're just using root third and seven, root third and seven on all, on all of the chords, okay? Except the F, we like this, what I call an open chord, right? It's beyond one octave, so we call this an open position. This is the first thing, is understanding the chords and being able to play them like so, okay? The second thing is what characterizes this style? Well, this broken 
syncopated tense, meaning you're going to play the roots. Typically in music, we put the roots on the beat. Our, our tendency is to want to put it on, you know, one, you know, two, three, four, right? It's kind of square. But what's actually much cooler is to put the roots on the off beats. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one. This is called syncopation. And this is what we're going to do here is instead of putting the root on the beat, one, we're going to go and one. So the chord is going to go on the beat. Okay, this is the basic idea. And so what I want you to do is play each chord and just loop the chord and get comfortable with this idea. Here's your beat, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Those are your broken tenths. Three, four, uh, one, uh, two, and three, and four. Okay, your, your, uh, t the tendency for a lot of students as they loop this, they'll start to hear the one here. They'll go, you know, three and four. One, two, three, four. That's not it, it's and one, and two. You can do this on the B flat chord. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And then on the C chord. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one. You guys get the idea here? Okay, that's the first part. The second part of this broken tense idea is that whenever the chord changes, you anticipate the new chord. Like when you go from the F to the B flat chord, so three and four and one and two and three and four. On the end of four, you go and one and two and three and four. You do this whenever the chord changes, okay? Let's go ahead and walk through the full 12 bar blues form using this technique, okay? Go ahead and play along with me. And here it is, starting on F. And one and two and three and four to B flat. Two, three, four to F. Up to B flat. Two, three, four, a oh, one, two, three, and back to F. Two, three, four, a oh, one, two, three, and up to C. Two, three, down to B flat. Two, three, and down to F. Two, and three, and four to C. Two, three, four. Okay, so uh, this might be fast for a lot of you. Some of you guys might be struggling. All right, Johnny, I'm not getting the notes. That's okay. This will be in the roadmaps, the blues roadmap at pianowithjohnny.com. It will be in the lesson archive. Uh, when you watch the video on Piano with Johnny, by the way, when we put the videos up, you can slow the videos down, right? In our video player, you can go half speed on the video. So you will be able to go back and watch this lesson. Let's go ahead now and play it with the blues back in track. You guys are doing a great job. Here it is, left hand alone, and then the second time we'll add the right hand. Okay, here it is. Here we go. And one, and two, two, B flat. Two, F. Two, B flat. This is blues. I'm going to stop there, guys. Notice I'm using the F blue scale to fill, okay? I'm trying to give you guys lots of examples of how to fill, okay? F blue scale, you can use that. I also use a lot of pentatonic, okay? Uh, it's actually technically a minor a pen F pentatonic with a minor third in it with an A flat, okay? I use this a lot for my fills.
and using all of these notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, this is called a D, this is a D blues scale, right? D blues, which is the relative minor to F, okay? So this is another scale you can use when you're soloing on a blues. You can use the relative minor blues scale. I don't think of it as a relative minor. I think of it as F pentatonic with a minor third, okay? But I use that a lot when I'm filling. If you guys want to learn more about fills and like different things you can add, check out. There's two courses that I think are excellent on this topic, which one is the uh, Blues Challenge. Well, actually, there's several. The Blues Challenge video, I teach you how to solo over the blues. I teach you a lot of this stuff. Um, we have the Bible of Blues riffs, 120 riffs for piano. We also have um, soloing over the blues. I, I believe we have a whole workshop, a whole lesson course on this topic. So there's a lot of resources at Piano with Johnny. And also with that smart lesson sheet, guys, just want you to know you can change the key. Okay, so if I teach like the Bible of Blues riffs, it's in C. Well, you just click one button and now all the riffs are in F. So check out the smart sheet music available to you guys only for our members here at pianowithjohnny.com. All right, guys, this concludes the preview of the workshop. Did you guys like this preview? If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Now, if you guys want to learn all eight of these left-hand patterns, you guys can get the full-length workshop at pianowithjohnny.com. It also comes with that blues backing track that is downloadable, and it also comes with the lesson sheet music, which is also downloadable for our members. And if you guys enjoyed this course, we actually have hundreds of other courses in blues, jazz, boogie woogie, uh, funk, Latin music, improvisation, technique, theory. We have the full learning platform at pianowithjohnny.com and our members get unlimited access to all of our video lessons and we currently have over 300 video piano lessons in these styles and over 150 sheets and we're adding new content every single month. Also, be sure to check out the membership because we do these live events every single month. We do a live workshop, which is what you just saw, and we also do a live Q&A where our members can ask me their practice questions, get tailored advice, and then of course we have a huge community that's growing every single day when we've got members helping each other out along their musical journey. So go check out the Piano with Johnny membership. It is an awesome, awesome platform. It's an awesome community. And thanks guys for watching this course.